the great question that has never been answered, and that I have not been able to answer in spite of 30 years of research on women, is what does a woman want? The unconscious of one person can react to it without passing through the conscious of another. Love and work, work and love, that's all. Just as no one can be forced to believe. Similarly no one can be forced to atheism. Men are more moral than they think and more immoral than they can imagine. Man is more moral than he thinks, and more immoral than he can imagine. Men are strong as long as they represent a strong idea, they become powerless when they oppose it. Great decisions in the field of thought and important discoveries and solutions to problems are possible only for a person who works in solitude. Most people don't really want freedom, because freedom involves responsibility, and most people are afraid of responsibility. Love in the form of longing and deprivation lowers self esteem. It is a tendency of human nature to accept an unpleasant idea as untrue, and then it is easy to find arguments against it. The tendency to love an object demands mastery in order to obtain it. And if a person feels they cannot control the object or feel threatened by it, they may act negatively toward it. We do. Man is powerful as long as he represents a powerful plan, and becomes weak when he opposes it. No, our science is not an illusion. But it would be an illusion to believe that what science cannot give us, we can get elsewhere. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. Out of your weaknesses will come your strengths. One day, looking back, the years of struggle will impress you as the most beautiful days. The goal of every life is death. The mind is like an iceberg, it floats with one seventh of its surface above the water. It is impossible to avoid the impression that people usually use false standards of measurement, that they seek power, success, and money for themselves and admire them in others, and that they underestimate the value. A religion, even if it calls itself a religion of love, must be harsh and unloving to those who do not belong to it. The dream is the liberation of the soul from the pressure of external nature. I only know one thing for sure and that is that man's judgments of value follow directly from his desires for happiness, accordingly, they are an attempt to support his delusions with arguments. If you can't, then leave. Words and magic were the same thing in the beginning, and even today words retain much of their magical power. Dream is the liberation of the soul from the pressure of external nature. Separating the soul from the fetters of matter. We are never so defenseless against suffering when we love. Being completely honest with yourself is a good exercise.